Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial again on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University. And for others who want to learn Java, this is part 18 in the series and is entitled Reading and Writing Files in Java. The primary class to use in managing files in Java is the file class, which is from the Java I.O. package. There are many methods to choose to handle files in Java. Some of these methods are read all bytes and read all lines uh, for small files, new buffered reader and new buffered writer for text files, new input stream and new output stream for streams and can be used with existing APIs also, new byte channel for channels and byte buffers, file channel for file locking and memory mapped I.O. But for this tutorial, we will be using file class and scanner class for reading files and file writer class and buffer writer class for writing files. Now let's start at once with an activity now number 35. We will create a text file first in drive D. I hope you have drive D that contains five names separated in different lines and we're going to name it read file point text. Then we're going to create a Java project that will read this file and it will display all its contents on the console. So our input is that file, read file point text in drive D and the output will be the contents of that file. For our process, we first have to instantiate the file class. Then we have to instantiate the scanner class, something that we usually do. For example, we're going to name it read. And then we're going to create a looping statement that will read each line of the file until it's not yet the end of the file. Uh, every line we're going to read, uh, we will place in a variable called line, which should be a string. And then we will display that line. Let's name the project reading file. Okay, first we have to go to drive D and create a new text document for our text file. We're going to call it reading, oh sorry, read file, read file point text. And then we'll put five names. Uh, I select mine. Yusuf, Yaya, uh, Musa, No. Okay, I have my five names. So we now have the read file point text. Now when we can go to NetBeans, let's call our project uh, reading file. Finish. Okay, we have to import. Uh, our useful import scanner, we will use it, but we will use it differently this time. You can see later. And then we also have to import the file class from java.io. Okay. Let's instantiate file. Let's call it file is equal to new file. And that is the file that we created in drive D, the colon slash uh, read file point txt, which is text file. Now let's instantiate scanner. Let's call it read is equal to new. Now look at this one. See the difference? We're not going to use system that in but the file because we're going to read from the file. So it will be that file object. But as you can see, there's an error. And if you look at the error, it says an exception must be thrown. The solution to that is in the main method declaration, you have to type throws exception. Now we can continue. Let's create a looping statement while read has next line. There it is. So what we're going to do is that we're going to read each line and we will put that in variable line, which is string. Read that next line. That's it. Now we're going to display that line on the console. System that out that print line. Sorry line okay now class we can run it now 
Okay, that's it. So we can now see the five names from the read file dot text file. So after reading, we're now going to write a uh, data in the file. This is activity number 36, and we're going to write a Java project that will create in Drive D a file called write file point text containing the numbers 1 to 10 separated in different lines. Our input will be the numbers from 1 to 10, and our output will be the write file point text in Drive D. For our process we have to first instantiate file writer class now the file writer class is uh, a class that is used to write character files uh, or a stream of characters to be exact then we have to instantiate the buffered writer class now what's the difference between the two the buffered writer class is uh, the one that writes the text to an output stream that's why it's called buffer then uh, to make it easier, we're going to use a loop uh, for the numbers 1 to 10. The first thing we're going to do is to write it. Please don't be confused. This is the object name for the buffered writer class. And then uh, this is the method. We need to convert uh, this number to string because, as I said, we're talking about character output stream. Then, we're going to separate them by a new line, so we will put a new line. This is the command for that. And then, we will save it using flush. Okay, let's call our new project writing file. Now, let's import the two classes, both from java.io. Actually, you can just put a star or asterisk, but let's specify them for this exercise. Buffered writer and the other one is import java dot io dot file writer there file writer next we have to instantiate uh, both of them let's start with the file writer let's call it a write file is equal to new file writer and then the name of the file, we'll put it in drive D again, slash, and then let's name it write file point text. So this file will be created by this program. And if it exists, it will be overwritten. Again, the, the error is because of the throws exception. So we have to put also throws exception. Then uh, the buffer writer, we have to instantiate it also. Let's call it write is equal to new buffered writer. Of course, it's write file. We can start with the loop for integer i is equal to 1. I think in the example I said x, I, I'm not sure now. <laughs> uh, it's the same, it's just a variable. i is less than or equal to 10 sorry and increment is i plus plus first we have to write it the value that will be converted to string because x i mean i is now an integer we have to convert it to string Okay. Next is we're going to put a new line to do that. Sorry. New line. Yeah, there. And the last is we have to flush it. Right? Dot flush. Correct. Class. <laughs> Easy, right? Now let's try to run it. Uh... Okay, the build was successful. To know if we got the output correctly, we have to go to drive D. There, this is the right file. Let's try to double click it and we will see the numbers 1 to 10. Very good, well done. Before we end this tutorial, um, we're going to revisit and revise activity number 35, the reading file project, by using a try-catch block. Now, this will be helpful if the file uh, wasn't found. Let's rename read file so that when we run the project, uh, 
it will not be able to see the file. Okay, let's go back to reading file. Now let's try to run it. Okay, there's an error that the file cannot be found. This is the ex exception that we want to catch. So before the scanner, we will put the try block. Let's put some indents here. Okay, it's enough. And we'll catch that exception. E. And we'll display the error system that out that print line for the error plus the message. Okay, so if we run it again, there, we were able to control or catch the exception. Okay, that's it. I hope you've learned how to use files in Java. So, thank you for watching this video. Ma salama.